Welcome to Center for Executive Coaching Alumni Interviews. My name is Andrew Knightlick. I'm founder and director of the Center for Executive Coaching. And today we speak with Judy Braun, principal of Braun Leadership Consulting. Judy has 28 years of experience working in corporations and professional services firms heading up talent management. She started her own leadership development and coaching practice three and a half years ago. Her practice includes doing executive assessments, developing leadership development programs, and conducting one-on-one -on -one coaching. Judy's based in Chicago, but has clients in Washington, D.C., Sarasota, Florida, and other states in the Midwest. Her coaching clients tend to be director to senior vice president levels, as well as partners in law firms. Uh, Judy, thanks for being here. Let's just jump in and, and start with what you like most about being an executive coach. Yeah, happy to, happy to have this conversation, Andrew. You know, there are two things. One is I love helping people be more effective or successful in their leadership roles. That's the thing that I enjoy the most. The second thing that I like about coaching, though, is I really enjoy the challenge and the variety. Every leader style and every leader situation is different, which means I need to really listen well. I need to take the time to build trust with each person and I need to make sure that I really understand what each person's issue or opportunity is. So I'd say those are the two things that really draw me to, to executive coaching, what I'd like the best. Perfect, thanks. And so tell me how your practice has evolved since you started it. Well, one way that it has evolved is that I initially did what I would call standalone one-on-one -on -one coaching for leaders, and I still do that. Uh, companies might call me to, to coach their leader. But I'm also doing more coaching as part of broader leadership development programs. They could be programs that I build for clients, and in addition to a workshop, they want follow-on coaching, which I'm doing a lot of, or I'm part of a coaching team that supports a client's development program. So that's really been a big shift, especially in the last two years, I'd say. The second thing is that my client base has evolved. So early on, my client ratio was probably, I'd say 90% was small to mid-sized companies and 10% were law firms. Now it has shifted to about 60% companies, primarily mid-sized companies, and 40% law firms. So I'm doing still the one-on-one -on -one coaching, but more coaching as part of a program, and my clients have really broadened to be uh, mid-size and law firms. All right, great. And then finally, what advice might you have for people thinking about getting into executive and leadership coaching or for newer executive and leadership coaches? Well, the first thing I would say is that coaching is a relationship business. People want to do business. People want to hire coaches that they feel they can trust and have some kind of relationship with. So the first thing I would say is to get business or to get more business, you have to strengthen your network and strengthen your visibility. People aren't going to think about you for projects if they haven't met you or have or know about you in some way. So that would be advice number one. Advice number two would be to be really clear on the desired outcomes of the coaching assignment. I've certainly learned some lessons with some mistakes that I made early on. But it's to be clear not only with the coachee themselves, but with the coachee's manager if, if he or she happens to have one. If you're coaching a CEO, you may not have, they may not have a manager, but anybody else likely has a manager. So to be really clear on what those outcomes, what success would look like is really important. And then number three I'd say is find ways to do more for your client than just the assignment itself. That's really about adding value. It's back to that building relationships with your clients. So a quick example is I have a client that I've been coaching and um, he, the, the client I've been, I've, been a, I've been coaching this client for a while, they just hired a new CHRO, head of HR. And this HR executive is trying to recruit to build his team. He's new to the Chicago area, doesn't know anybody. And so um, he didn't ask me, but I've, I've asked him if I could help him recruit for uh, a particular role that he has. And so I've tapped into my network and I've helped him source candidates uh, for his position. So it's just a small example, but if you can find ways to add value and help your client, it really helps further that relationship. 
All right, perfect. Judy, thank you very much. I appreciate your advice and, and your insights. My pleasure. Thank you for asking me, Andrew.